not an easy recommendation. Definitely not. Hey, what's up, speaker files? Willington here. I have given you guys the sound samples of basically all these speakers you see here compared to this guy, the Party Box Essential right here. These are speakers that you guys mostly requested um, to see them compared to the new Party Box Encore Essential. And in this video, I just thought, let's just have a quick chat because uh, the speaker sounds good. If you're looking for best, you just can't go wrong. You just cannot go wrong with this speaker unless size is a constraint for you. The reason it's hard for me to recommend this speaker is because after all these tests and listening to these speakers compared to these, I got super excited about this speaker becoming my uh, king of bass, basically. And you know, it's something easy for me to recommend to people. But then I was like, but wait a minute, this thing is rated for five hours of play time, which is kind of the same thing with the Studio 7, not the greatest battery life. But with this, this is very, very uh, targeted towards parting and you know, bring it anywhere. Like it looks like a beefy outdoor speaker you can just bring anywhere to play music or to a party and all that kind of stuff. So what I did is try out and test the battery life on the speaker. So this past weekend, I brought the speaker out fully charged. The kind of music I listen to is mostly bass heavy. I lean towards bass. Everybody should know that on this channel. Um, anyways, so, and then I had the lights on and I had bass boost on the first mode. And listening to the speaker, at about 80% volume, but I got about uh, two hours and 45 minutes, you know, that I got out of the speaker before it started asking me to charge it or getting that warning light that you can kind of see still blinking on there because I haven't plugged it in yet. Like two hours and about 45 minutes. That's really short. That is really short. So, Best is awesome. The speaker sounds good for what it is, and uh, its size, and but battery life. Oh my gosh! So here is what I'm going to say: If that catch a battery is fine for you and you're okay with plugging in whatever you're going to be using it, it's easy to just plug it in. Yes, go with the speaker. It's amazing. It's amazing. Great bass. Pick up maybe two of them. Just use that. But if you're planning on just bringing it by itself, no cord, just relying on the battery on this thing, it's not the greatest. Um, I'm sure if you turn off the light, turn off best boost, and you keep the volume, maybe what, 30, 40%, you can probably get the, the five hours they advertise out of this but that was a little bit disappointing and it makes it harder for me to easily just recommend the speaker to anybody. Now, that is the Party Box Encore that is going to be coming out and that one is rated for 10 hours of playtime. So technically you can probably with that speaker get up to about five hours or six hours of playtime if you're using it the way I was using it. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get the Encore because I feel like I believe the sound is going to be the same, but I'll probably end up picking it up. What am I talking about? Um, anyways, if I do pick it up, I'll also test the battery life, but I feel like you might have to juggle between those two, this one and the Encore and see if the price difference is worth the extra battery life that you get. Otherwise, these speakers have great battery lives, except for the Studio 7 still. Like, I feel like it's still better than this. The Studio 7 has a better battery life than... I'm sorry, I didn't, I wasn't talking to you. I don't know what I, what I said. Anyway, so the Studio 7 has a better battery life than this guy, I feel like, because like, like about two and a half hours, really? 
Um, anyway, so maybe the Encore will have a better battery life. Well, it's advertised to have, you know, twice the amount of battery life. So maybe that's what would be a better buy if you're into bass and you love the sound of this speaker. Otherwise, yeah, it sounds good. Great bass, but there's a catch. And that is the battery life. If that's something you're willing to put up with, go pick it up. Go pick it up. It's a good speaker, most especially if you love bass. But if you think you'll want to use it without plugging it in for, you know, four, five, six whole day, I don't think this is a speaker for you. Uh, the speakers are also completely waterproof. Like the, this guy, this guy, this guy, like completely waterproof you can throw that thing in water this guy you cannot just because of the open uh best port back there it's only ipx4 rated but yeah i just wanted to point that out it's kind of disappointing with the battery life uh but overall i think jbl did good as far as sound was the thing like i'm happy about it Definitely not what I was expecting, but I'm glad I actually got it and tried it out and I kind of love it. I just hate the battery life. I'm wondering if there's a way to like add some sort of battery, like <laughs> well, people out there can probably figure that out. Like add a battery pack inside of it so it like lasts longer, that would be cool. Um, anyways, I just wanted to say that, uh, that kind of concludes most of my videos about the Encore, uh, the Encore Essential, maybe until we get the Encore or other speakers come out, like when the studio, I mean, the Boombox 3 comes out, I'll probably test the two because I'm very, very curious. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.